You and me both like building web applications and how cool would it be to be instantly notified in real time for any important event that happens in your web app. A new user signing up to your SaaS, somebody purchasing your paid plan, somebody reaching out for freelance work to you from your portfolio. These are events you want to be notified about and I'm gonna show you in this video, no fluff, how to do it. But warning, really, what I'm about to show you is extremely fun and addictive. Just in the editing of this video, I got like four Discord notifications and I keep checking like oh what is it and chances are you're gonna do the same thing because it's really fun to see how people are using your web apps and dude this is how I actually send discord messages from my production SaaS to myself when any event occurs that I care about like for example here when a new user signs up now of course this is test data and I can only scroll so far here because uh, below this there are actual production events right I was just testing this up here so let's just go ahead and set this up together and you being notified for whatever you care about, like somebody reaching out from your portfolio or any SaaS event, it does not matter anything in any web app that you want to know about it's a two-step process it's really really simple man step number one is share a server with a discord bot that takes like 30 seconds to create we're gonna do it together and then step number two is just send dms from this bot to yourself and that's probably even easier than step number one man and that's uh step two right here and it's literally as easy as that first off let's share a server let's go to the discord developer portal and after logging into this app here we go you can see i already created a bunch of applications like pink panda a recent discord service that we did together on this channel in like a 12 hour video or my actual production bot that informs me of any event that i care about and we're gonna click right here new app name this anything you want except their like terms or whatever it is and here we go it's our demo bot you can give it a profile picture name description make this as pretty as you want and as long as you go to OAuth2 and give this a bot role right here and send messages as the text permissions, you are officially good to go, sir or madam, but probably sir. It's like 99% uh, guys watching this channel anyways that's gonna give you a link here at the very bottom the generated url right this is what we care about because if we paste that into our browser now we can actually add this and i'm probably gonna need to censor like some stuff here on the left to keep my friends list private let's add this bot to a server if we now hit continue bam that is officially step one done right the bot now joins our server which means we can now dm ourselves from the bot because we need to share a server with that bot right and bada bing bada boom demo bot just showed up in josh server which means we can now go ahead and actually message ourselves from that bot right so that's hell yeah step number one completely done right we can put a big take right here anyways and now we can directly send dms for any event that we care about to us and here we go this is gonna be the code part now since i don't want to bore you to death with the code i already prepared this and i'm gonna give you the code in the description but just so you have a general understanding of what we're doing here right we're writing our own discord client that we can then use across our entire project to really easily send ourselves a dm this client gets a rest property and also a discord id this is my personal discord id and you put yours here right by the way if you're wondering how do you get that you can simply go ahead open up discord click on your profile picture and then copy user id right here that's all it is right it's super super straightforward whenever we create or construct this class we expect a discord bot token it's kind of like the api key to interact with this bot we're gonna create a dm channel right so sending a dm is a two-step process first off we create a channel using the discord rest api sending along or discord id to who we want to send a dm to and now because where we get this from which is the discord api types is not really type safe we can also cast this just to work in typescript then we're we're gonna actually send the message right this is the fun part we're gonna create the channel so this is gonna link to our discord account or your account that you want to send a message to we're gonna send the message to this channel.id actually receive the embed right here whichever we want to send and then just pass that along as the body in our request and that is it and the result is this we can simply instantiate a new discord client and send ourselves a message just like this it's super easy, man, as I told you, right? And there's so many things we can pass into the send embed to make it look exactly as we want, right? Videos, images, 
anything you can imagine, right? We're gonna start with a title and let's name this new user and let's also give this like a nice little emoji here of a user. We can give this a color, right? This is how it's gonna appear in Discord. By the way, this needs to be an integer. I just prepared it here like a number but kind of like same thing as a hex code, right? And then we can pass this some fields. And this is basically whichever data you want to show in the message that you're sending to yourself. Each one here takes a name, for example, the email of the user that just signed up. And also let's give this a value. And that can be like the example at gmail.com or the actual user email or whatever field you want, right? If somebody contacted you from your portfolio, this would be their name and then the stuff they wrote into the contact field if they want to contact you for freelance work. For example, you can put this anywhere, man. It doesn't have to be SaaS. I use it for SaaS and it works really well here, but it really doesn't have to be. So let's go ahead and try this together. I'm gonna call this API route, bam, there we go. And that should send us a Discord message with the new user event from our newly created bot. So let's see if that worked. Let's pull up the Discord and we can see right here, demo bot sent us a message that looks good. And we can see right here, new user email example at gmail.com. Hell yeah, man. If that was not easy, I don't know what is. And the potential for this is absolutely huge. And honestly, dude, I didn't even know it was possible to do this in serverless because Discord JS, what you normally use for Discord um, interactions in Node.js is server full, right? You need an actual running server. With this implementation, you don't. This is completely serverless and really fun to get notifications throughout the day on your phone instantly as things happen in your web apps. I really hope you enjoyed this video. That's gonna be it for me and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one and bye-bye.